To uh, sports, once one of the worst teams in Major League uh, Baseball has won the World Series. In fact, the Kansas City Royals have defeated the New York Mets. Yeah, Kong Yong, I have no doubt Royals fans are still partying in Kansas City. Uh, even as the sun comes up and people prepare to go to work in that part of the world, it's a big deal. It's been 30 years since they took a title. And, you know, it's, uh, there weren't a lot of happy seasons in between now and that 1985 victory. Right. I mean, it's got to be such a relief for the fans because just uh, last year they won, a, they lost game seven. Yeah, it was a tight game. It came down to the final out, close all the way. San Francisco Giants on top. But most of those players have come back to win the World Series this year. So it's, it's redemption of sort for the Royals. You know, this game they fought back from a 2 0 deficit and tied the score in the ninth inning. The Royals then blew the game open with a, t a five, five run. 12th inning to win the series. Kansas City is one of baseball's smallest markets, but obviously one of the most powerful now, and its fans are some of the most dedicated in the league. The city dyed many of its fountains royal blue, and some statues were dressed in Royals jerseys. This is only Kansas City's second title, by the way. And Konyong, if you uh, check out some videos online, you'll see fans in bars throughout Northeast Kansas, especially the prominent Power and Light District, celebrating well into the night. It was pretty crazy out there. Are you a Royals fan? You know, I lived in that area for a year, so um, they're one of my favorite teams. All right. Well, Bruce, uh, congratulations to you, and <laughs> um, I will see you tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Kong Young.